Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you a price prediction update on Polygon Matic whose current price stands at the $0.8356 mark and here on trading view the market is up by 0.12% and in this video I want to give you the key scenarios that I expect to play out basing my analysis on the Elliott waves and the Fibonacci's and also the key areas of support and resistances and also draw out the key chart patterns that you have information on this chart so if you're interested in in such content make sure that you stick around till the end of the video and here on the polygon matic we are seeing a bit of a breakout out of a chart pattern that we had over here and that movement to the upper side has continued to respect the LUT waves and before i get into that allow me to kickstart the video by giving a brief of what has been happening on this chart polygon matic from the all-time high has been seeing no prices in this massive abc corrective movement which has now taken us back to around the 0.32 dollar mark and having done so i believe it has done the minimum that we expected it to do in its ABC corrective movement and soon we are seeing a very nice bounce to the upper side in this idiot wave structure having our wave 5 taking us back to an all-time high but before we get to an all-time high we first need to see that first wave to the upper side and within a first wave we also expect to see fractal waves information within that first wave to the upper side and if I jump to the 4-hour chart because that is what is playing out here on the 4-hour chart you can see I have this yellow fractal wave within a wave 1 and I believe we, are, we have just completed the formation of our wave 4 to the lower side and we might have started the formation of our wave 5 to the upper side to complete that higher edge to wave count 1 and if I get a little bit into the details of the formation of that fractal wave so that it can also give me the key scenarios that I expect to play out after making our low down there we saw a very nice bounce to the upper side making a high for that first wave to the upper side and using the Fibonacci connecting them from the lower of the wave one to the high of that wave one that gives me a minimum retracement area to the lower side in the formation of our wave 2 between the fib level 0.382 and the fib level 0.618 and you can see polygon matic respected that after making the low for that second wave we saw a very nice bounce to the upper side in the formation of a third wave which i had a target area here on the charts at around the 0.93 dollar mark and that i was basing it on the trend based fibonacci connecting the low of the wave 1 to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the wave 2 that gave me a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of a third wave at around the 0.93 dollar mark and that is the fib level 1.618 and initially here on the charts i had my wave 3 high as the high that we have we had at around the 1.02 dollar mark and this retracement over here i was terming it as a retracement to the door side in the formation of a wave 4 but the moment we managed to break above the key area of resistance at around the 0.95 dollar mark and made a new high that made me to change scenarios having the new high as the high for that third wave to the upper side and whatever we have been seeing over here is a retracement to the lower side in the formation of our wave 4 and because our wave 4 is a retracement of the third wave we can use the Fibonacci connecting them from the low of the wave 3 to the high of that wave 3 to get a minimum retracement area to the lower side in the formation of that wave 4 to the lower side between the fib level 0.382 and the fib level 0.618 as a maximum and I can mark that target area here on the charts like that and you can see polygon matic has continued to respect that we came down into that target area and because our wave 4 is a corrective wave i also expected to see a corrective movement within this wave 4 and i believe we are seeing that movement having this as the wave a then a wave B making a high at around the 0.95 dollar mark then continued pushing lower in the formation of a wave C to complete that formation of our wave 4 to the lower side and made a new low at around the 0.69 dollar mark and after making that low down there we have been seeing a bit of a bounce to the upper side and in that movement we had also been trading within this channel which is between two key areas of resistances and support that is the key area of resistance at around the 0.78 dollar mark and the key support area at around the 0.72 dollar mark and yesterday we saw a breakout out of this channel to the upper side though we didn't see a retest of that key area of resistance even on the hourly chart we have continued pushing higher and that movement assuming that the low was in for that fourth wave at around the 0.69 dollar mark whatever we are seeing over here might be the formation of our wave 5 to the upper side and because our wave 5 is an impulsive wave we also expect to see fractal waves in formation within that wave 5 and i believe that is what is playing out over here having this as the first wave of that fractal wave to the upper side then a wave 2 
then this movement to the upper side is what is forming a wave 3 to the upper side expect a bit of a retracement in a wave 4 then continue pushing higher to complete a higher edge to wave count 1 which is a fractal wave within that wave 5 then we might expect uh, we be expecting a wave 2 to the lower side a wave 3 a wave 4 and then a wave 5 to complete that higher edge to wave count 5 and also that higher edge to wave count 1 over here i will also be giving you a target area for that higher edge to wave count 1 and going back to the formation of this fractal wave that we are seeing over here we can get a minimum target area in that third wave to the upper side that is in formation right here and to do that i just need to use the trend based fibonacci connecting them from the low of the wave 1 that is that low at around the 0.69 dollar mark to that high then dragging the fib down here and that gives me a minimum target area in the formation of that third wave to the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.87 dollar mark once you make it to that target area in the formation of that third wave to the upper side we can expect a bit of a retracement in our wave 4 then continue pushing higher in the formation of our wave 5 to complete that higher edge to wave count 1 which is a fractal wave within a wave within a wave 5 and also zooming in so that i can also give you a target area for that higher edge to wave count one i just need to use the trend based fibonacci's connecting them from the low of that wave one down here to the high of the wave one then drag the fibs to the high of that that wave to the upper side and that gives me a minimum target area for that higher edge to wave count one and the fib level 0 0.618 and that is at around the 1.2472 dollar mark so let's be patient and see how that plays out in case we continue seeing massive pump to the upper side i would expect us to complete that formation of a lower edge to wave count one before we complete that higher edge to wave count five and also a higher edge to wave count one also getting to the indicators to see what movements will be supported here on the rsi right now we are trading at around the 71 mark and that means we are in the overbought region and soon we might be seeing a bit of a retracement on the charts to, to try and create room for us to continue pushing higher so we don't have much of room for us to support any movement to the upper side on the rsi also taking a look at the macd here on the MACD we have printed a bullish cross and that would mean higher prices could be coming our way. So let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll keep you updated.